This is our book for Wednesday. I'm so excited to read it to you. It's called Blue Sky, White Stars by Sarvinder Naberhaus and illustrated by Kadir Nelson. If I take a look at the cover, what holiday might this book be about? I think it might be the 4th of July. I think it might be Independence Day. Blue sky, white stars, blue sky, white stars. Red rose, red rose. Huh. So if I turn back, blue sky, white stars, and blue sky, white stars. Here's a picture of, or a drawing, an illustration of a sky with stars, and here is an illustration of the stars on our flag. Same thing with the red rose. White rose, white rose. Red, white, and blue. Old glory, old glory. I like how we're getting pictures on one page of nature, and then on the other page we're getting these great symbols. I know that some of my first graders are going to be studying symbols soon, so what a great book to keep in mind. Sea waves, sea waves. Now this is a little play on words. Sea, spelled S-E-A, meaning the sea, the ocean, water. And then C, S-E-E, -E, means to see. Oh, I love this page. So together, one nation. So together, one nation. It's a great for word study. So, like sewing the flag, sew it together. One means to win a nation. So together, we are one nation. Oh, I love all these faces. Well-worn, mm, I think I know who that is. That might be Abraham Lincoln. And well-worn, a flag that is well-worn from the elements, the weather. <sighs> woven together, woven together. Just like a flag is woven together, so are our people. All American, all American. Stand proud, stand proud.
rising up, rising up. Fly high, fly high. Freedom. Red, white, blue, sky, white stars, forever. just going to read the note from the author. This story was written as a parallel between America and its flag. The same words describe both. I began this book thinking of the deep blue sky dotted with white stars that early immigrants to this country saw as they boarded ships headed toward religious freedom in the New World. In the early 1920s, my great-grandfather, Buddha Singh Bal, boarded a ship to come to America, but at the last minute changed his mind. My dad wished he had stayed on the boat and embarked on the journey. It was my dad's dream to come to America, which he achieved through a veterinary medicine scholarship. In 1965, when I was nearly four years old, my family left Punjab, India, and traveled over 7,000 miles to join my father. Thus began my lifelong journey assimilating into the culture that fostered the American dream, eventually becoming a citizen in 1996. Like my dad, I followed my dreams, which led me to this story where blue sky is filled with white stars. And then I'll read the note from the illustrator. I'm very proud to have created the series of paintings illustrating Sarvinder Naberhaus's poetic celebration of the American flag. I was immediately struck by the author's sparse yet rousing text, its simplicity and power, its beautifully drawn parallels between the American landscape and the diversity of its people, and the symbolism stitched into the fabric. It is the American ideals that have continued to echo in our hearts and minds throughout our tumultuous, 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 sorry, history. With each painting, I was inspired to remind readers of the resilience of American principles, and that as we continue to push forward, our strength lies in our willingness to embrace our differences. I hope this work will always remind us that our ever-evolving country was forged by, and for, people from all walks of life and every background, and that our future as a nation hinges on Abraham Lincoln's enduring admonition that a house divided cannot stand. The American flag is a shining symbol that calls us to remember that we have the potential to uphold the promise of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness together. Only together. So in just a few short weeks, America will have Election Day. Together.